Hey there, my name is Julie Faith Ann Balzer and today I'm going to show you all about how to cut silicone stamps with your Scan and Cut. So in the stamp starter kit, you're going to get several sheets of silicone. They're larger than this. I've cut this one down. And you're also going to get a clear acrylic block with the grid on it so you can line things up. And you're also going to get a card that unlocks more than 50 designs in Scan and Cut Canvas. So there are two thin pieces of plastic on either side of your stamp material. What you want to do is you want to pull only one of them off. And once you pull it off, you're just going to throw it away. It's garbage. And then this side, the side that you peeled something off of, that's the side you want to put against the mat. So I'm going to go ahead ahead and remove the dust cover and then I'm going to take the side that we peeled away the plastic from and I'm just going to place it down onto my mat and I am using a standard tack mat. Now I'm going to open the dust cover on the machine and I'm going to go ahead and load it in using two hands right up front to make sure I get a straight load. I'm going to press the load button and once it has loaded in I'm going to choose pattern and save data and from my USB I've saved one of the designs that comes in Scan and Cut Canvas if you use the unlock code with your stamp starter kit. There it is. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to say I want to scan in my stamp material now so that I can see exactly where to put it. Now I'm sure you're wondering whether or not the Scan and Cut can actually see that clear material on this white mat and the answer is yes, it can. So there you go, I can see it right here on the screen and I can go ahead and drag my rose design onto it. If I need to resize it at all based on the size of the stamp material that I'm using, I can resize it, I can adjust it in any way that I want. Once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Okay, again, I'm gonna choose cut. And you'll notice, of course, that I'm using my deep cut blade. That's the purple blade. And the recommendation is to set it between a six and a six and a half, but you should always do a test cut to make sure that it's right for your machine and your blade. So once I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and press start. So now my stamp is cut, I'm going to unload the mat, close up the dust cover, and I'm gonna peel it off. So the background comes away first, and you can save that and actually use that as a stamp if you'd like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel my stamp off. And as you can see, there it is. I'm gonna pop out all of the little bits that I don't need that are inside of the rows like that, as you can see. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure to peel off that plastic that we left on there. And now you can see I have a fabulous silicone stamp. I'm gonna take my Scan and Cut stamp block that comes right in the kit. I'm gonna just stick it on there. It sticks, I'm ready to ink it up and to use it. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balldesigns.typepad.com and for more Scan and Cut, you can always go to the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.